There is increased prevalence of chronic kidney disease in the United States and as kidney disease progresses, many patients come close to or are already needing dialysis. These people are evaluated for kidney transplants and living kidney uh, transplantation is their best option. Kidneys obtained from living donors have a longer lifespan because they have increased viability. They are transplanted in a timely manner and usually the recipient starts showing signs of having good kidney function immediately on the operating table itself. The longer the patients with chronic kidney disease stay on dialysis, the more their medical problems. So that's why we always give the option and offer the option of living kidney donation to the recipients who come to the transplant clinic. Usually anyone over the age of 19 years uh, could come forward as a donor. Uh, donors could be their friends, they could be their relatives, they could be sisters, sister-in-laws, mothers, mother-in-laws. But we also have friends, church members, colleagues who sometimes come forward to help their near and dear ones. Uh, do this with the objective to get them a new lease on life, to celebrate life with them. One of the other uh, better options is kidney paired donation. Kidney paired donation is a kind of a swap where we have two or more donor recipient pairs who are not immediately compatible with their recipient. And so we uh, uh, do the cross testing. So, and if we find that recipient uh, one is compatible with the other donor from the other pair, then there is a swap or what's called uh, an exchange uh, process can take place. The kidney pair donation program doesn't have to be done only between two pairs. There could be more than a couple of pairs. And in fact, uh, are in some places around the country, and we have also participated in some of these, chains are formed as we have more than one pair doing the exchanges. We can have really long chains and it doesn't have to be restricted to a couple of pairs. It could be anywhere up to eight pairs or more. Most donors do as well as other members of society after the donation process. It's a pretty safe process, but we always encourage our donors to ask questions and follow up regularly with their regular physicians so that they continue to do well after the donor surgery. Recovery for the donor is pretty short because the donor has undergone an extensive evaluation. This extensive evaluation has shown us that the donor is healthy enough to go ahead and do this surgery. And so most of the times the donor recovery time is pretty short. Usually this process is done simultaneously. The kidney is taken uh, out of the donor through the donor nephrectomy, which could be most of the times a laparoscopic procedure with smaller incisions and immediately transplanted into the recipient. So this maintains the viability of the kidney, that is it does not stay out of the body for too long. So it starts functioning almost immediately as soon as it is transplanted into the recipient, which is one reason that the viability is maintained, that's why it tends to last longer. Most of the times, the donor nephrectomy nowadays has progressed on to becoming a laparoscopic procedure, making recovery easier. Whereas in the recipient, most of the times it's an open procedure because they have had chronic kidney disease for the past so many years that has made them um, lose their kidney function, they have some other medical complications. Uh, so that's why 
most of the times with the recipient, it's likely to be an open procedure. That's the best uh, expectation out of a living donor kidney, 15 plus years at least, uh, up to 20 years. We have had uh, some living donor kidneys which have gone on longer. It also depends on what are the medical problems of the recipient, how well they continue to care for themselves and how well they follow physician recommendations in terms of blood pressure control, diabetes control and other problems that have caused their kidney disease to start with. We have been uh, doing living donor kidney transplant since 1970 and we have done so far more than 900 kidney transplants. So we have the experience to make this happen for you. Though we have the cold temperatures in the winter, I think that makes up with the warmth that the Nebraskans have to offer. And so come to Omaha, come to the Nebraska Medical Center, we will help you out.